talking about the repository a little bit, theoretically, when you requested a project, you will have chosen, um, in the request, you will have asked for either a Git repository or an SVN or Subversion repository. Um, if you click on the Repository tab under Settings, uh, if you explicitly, explicitly selected or asked for one in the email, this will have been set up for you. If it hasn't yet, uh, under SCM, I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, I like Git. There's a couple of things to note. There's a number of repositories available in this list. The only two that are officially supported by the cat are Git and Subversion. If you select either Git or Subversion, um, and go ahead and click this Create button in the lower left-hand corner, assuming that it hasn't already, already been done for you, uh, the repository will already be created. This will be linked, and you'll be good to go. If you select any of the others, like Mercurial here for a second, note that it's going to ask you for a whole bunch more information. This is because the repository doesn't exist, and the cat isn't going to manage it for you. Uh, so if you happen to have a repository that's configured such that projects.kex can access it and you want to track it using this tool, um, you can do that, but that is not supported by the cat. That is up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Git, uh, supported by the cat, uh, and hit Create. It's going to spin for a second. And there we go. Note after it's been created that the SCM selection is grayed out. Uh, you can actually switch later on if you want. Um, but you'll have to delete the repository first. This will delete link of the lower, lower right-hand corner. Of note, just for the technical people, this doesn't actually remove the repository. What it does is it removes all references to the repository from Redmine. Um, and if you re-add the same repository, unless you've manually you know, deleted the actual references and objects, it'll still be there. I can leave that alone. Once you've added a repository, you'll have an additional tab in the top here called Repository, which you can click on and actually see any files you may or may not have. Okay. Uh, after the repository, I'm going to talk about the wiki for a second. Um, I was going to mention one other thing about repository before I move off here. We're almost, we're not going to talk about all the modules. There's like 10 modules, and honestly, um, most of them don't require any MCAC specific documentation. I'll point you to Redmine documentation in a second. On the repository, though, um, so we've mentioned that there is this repository and you have access to it. Uh, the URL for the repository, is contained inside the Redmine project. And if you click on the repository tab, once the module's been enabled, um, it'll actually just show it to you right then and there, kind of an easy to see copy way. Uh, this particular project has an SVN repository, so it's gonna have two links. It's gonna have an HTTP. No, this is a Git repository. It's gonna have an HTTP link. So if I want to, I can go ahead and just copy that. In this case, I would do something like git clone um, HTTPS colon slash slash demo projects, et cetera. Um, or if I wanted to, we're also offering, um, kind of as a test, it's, it's a little experimental, um, SSH key-based access to Git repositories. Um, note, this option is not available for subversion. For subversion repositories, you must use the HTTPS URL. For Git repositories, if you'd like, you can check out the SSH link. Um, this is going to give you a git at projects.kex.pdx.edu type link. Um, to make this work, you'll actually have to add an SSH key. And if you don't know, don't know what that is, don't worry about it too much. You probably won't be using it um, to your account. To do that, what you do, if you click on the My Account link in the upper right-hand corner, click there, there's going to be an option here called Public Keys. If you click on that uh, and click New Value here, you can basically cut and paste an SSH public key into the key field. You can call it anything you want. It's just an identifier. And then hit the Create button. And this functions kind of like a diminished or reduced GitHub. Um, it allows you to git clone or git pull or git push using SSH public keys as opposed to typing in your password every time. Again, that's only available for git projects. But for either project, git or subversion, on the repository page is going to be the actual link you use to check out the repo. Okay. 